Hey guys, it's Colin with Legendary Habitat LLC. Uh, today we're here out here at this section of the property. This is uh, in part of the swamp, kind of a wetland, part wetland over here, and then it comes into more swamp with uh, deeper water. What I want to show you today is <clears throat> how you can Im improve your swamp and wetland on your property for whitetail habitat and for bedding. And uh, there's a couple different things you can do that I've done here, and I'm gonna keep improving. As you can see, we've got a lot of maple in here. Uh, we've got some tamaracks trees in here. I've come in here two years ago, and I hinge cut a couple of tamaracks, and uh, they actually surprisingly hinge cut pretty good. Had 100% success rate on those, and uh, I'll show you those at the end of the video. So I'm basically gonna be making some steering travel corridors in here. And then the sections that are deep with water, I'm going to start filling in with logs and dirt to get out to these secluded areas. Well, I'm going to build little mounds of dirt up on high points, hinge cut trees over, make them thick, and hopefully these bucks will come in here once it's uh, once they feel pressured, they'll make it into this thick cover and feel very secure. As you can see right here, this is a tamarack tree. <clears throat> this is also a tamarack tree, both successfully hinged. Lots of new growth on here. These are a couple maples I've hinged in here. So I'm going to come in here, clear a couple of these branches out, and then clear a trail that comes into this spot, and then also an exit trail that comes back out that way towards this other group of uh, tamaracks right there. spots back here that I'm uh, working on transforming into some buck beds uh, to try to get some of these bucks to move out into the swamp and uh, basically interconnect all these beds so that each bed has an entry and an exit 
So basically an experiment and we're going to see how this works. Um, I'm hinge cutting a couple of these maples to direct steering trails through here. And uh, I'll take you through a couple of those trails that I've created and show you how this can work on your property. Right now we're going to be uh, hinge cutting this piece sized tamarack for some more side cover and to block this, this area off right here. As you can see, we've got a really nice radius to this. Uh, this tree is a tamarack tree, and I found that they hinge cut really good. And uh, I've hinge cut multiple smaller ones. Had great success on them continuing to grow, continuing to sprout, providing a lot more sunlight in here, which is the goal to get more of this, more of these trees to grow up in here. There's some dogwood, there's maple. The more sunlight I can get in here, the more I can dry it up, and I can create more beds. High spot right here. I hinge cut that maple two years ago. And you can see all the regeneration off of it. Lots of brows. There's an entry and exit or he might enter from here and he's got an exit path. Good side cover, a little bit of overhead cover. There's more trails that run through. Coming into another possible buck bed, to another exit trail. Leads down this trail that I've created. That leads down to another possible bed right there, another high spot with a maple. Now I'll end up hinging that over, over top of that bed. And you can see here's another trail here. It continues to another possible bed, another maple. I'll pull over on top of this bed. where we came from now we're transitioning down through here back to where we hinge cut the tamarack come through here back through here and it comes back to the main trail that leads back to the hardwoods come back in here with a couple of these individual beds and add some mulch in and uh, they typically don't like bedding and sticks you clear it out for them and make them a, give them a five-star hotel, they won't bet in your neighbor's three-star hotel. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any other comments or questions, drop them below. I appreciate it.